wants me to find him. Maybe 66 part of an address. You think it's that simple? Can I talk to you for a minute out on the terrace? You know, something you don't want us to hear? It's a matter of public record. I'm sure you already know. Someone put a bomb in Johnny Zakar's car last night. John and my little sister were almost killed. Michael told me. Let's go outside. Come on. You think that was funny? I don't care to speculate. I don't even want to know. I should be thinking about the Franco stuff. What's this about this 66 as an address? Sonny walks into the garage and yells Christina's name just as the car exploded. And thank God Johnny sensed that something was wrong because he pulled her out at the last second. And if he hadn't, Jason, Sonny says that he had nothing to do with it. Alexis believes him, but me, I'm really not so convinced. If Sonny did it, it was to deal with Johnny. Well, the police say that he has been doing business with some bottom feeders, the, the Lopez brothers. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of them? Yep. They use car bombs all the time. Okay. Well, do you think maybe it could have been them? Maybe. Oh, Jason, come on. It would be so much easier if you would just lie to me, look in the eye, and tell me that Sonny had nothing to do with my sister nearly being killed. When Franco was here before, he gifted stone cold. You know, made like that. And symbols and properly deciphered mm -hmm. made an address to his life. It's one of the reasons why I love you. About 66 words <laughs> and address. I know such a all plural permutations. Falcon Erie. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. There's been a Franco spotting in the park. I'm gonna go check it out. You wanna sit here with yeah, Spinelli? Go. Stone Cold, if you're planning on going on Franco... I'll... No, 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 I'm not going after Franco. I'm gonna go talk to Sonny. Prison. It's, uh, it's good to be out, yeah. Any progress on Franco? Uh, some. What do you need to see me about? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? I don't know, I guess I just wanted to... I tell you that it was smart to use a car bomb on Johnny. You know, he's working with the Lopez brothers and they'll probably get the blame for it. I thought you wanted me to leave Johnny alone. Hey, Johnny knows the rules. He pushed, he pushed back. If Johnny dies, it's what he expected. I hate that bastard for playing games with my daughter. But I'm the only, you know, I'm the one who almost got her killed. Yeah, but Christina wasn't supposed to be there, yeah, so. Lily wasn't supposed to start that car either. It's, it's terrible that Christina almost got hurt, but it, it was random. It wasn't, it wasn't your fault. Christina had been defying me for weeks, sneaking off to see Johnny. I, I, I was positive that I had her out of the way. So I, I was thinking like a businessman and when I was supposed to be thinking like a father. I guess, you know, you just can't do both. I have four kids. One I shot, one got shot because of me, and one almost got killed as an innocent bystander in a hit that I ordered. It's no wonder Carly wants checks to adopt Morgan. Do you know why I gave Michael your name? I mean, you were, you were gone. Living on the island, I, I didn't think you'd ever come back to Port Charles. You were the person who changed my life. You taught me how to how to make decisions and and actually live with the consequences. You taught me my job, which most people might not approve of, but it's what I wanted to do, and you taught me to do it well. You were brain damaged. You know, I, I taught you how to no, get a kill. No, you taught me. You taught me how to be a man. Sonny, you were you were like a father to me. I know that you're a good father. 
And I know you didn't understand it until it was too late how this business would affect your kids. You did everything you could to protect them. Even Dante? You think it's okay to protect him? Or do you still believe that uh, I chose him over Michael? When I pulled the trigger on Dominic Pirelli, I knew exactly what I was doing. It was a business decision. And even if part of me hated to have to kill him, you, you and I both know you got to do what you got to do to survive. And then Olivia comes through the door. She's screaming. He's your son. I haven't been thinking clearly since then. I want my son to love me. And every time I, we're taking steps forward, he, you know, it goes right back to that afternoon when he looked me in the eye and he told me all the reasons why he despises me. Well, Dante's a cop. I don't think he'll ever be able to trust you. Should I give up on him? Well, that would be the smart business decision. What if you gave Michael a reason to hate you, a good reason? Could you give up on him? No, never. Well, I feel the same way. I mean, Michael could steal from me, lie to me, just shoot me in the freaking chest. I could never stop loving him. And I, but I can't see giving his brothers and sister anything less. You can't. Thank God Michael's out of prison. And you know what the hardest part for me right now is having to lie to the people that I love. But the way I see it is at least at least Christina is away from Johnny. I see that as a win. Right. Right? Yeah, you know the cops are gonna investigate you for Johnny's. They've already been here. Lucky first, and then Claire Walsh came to apologize for, you know, accusing me of the car bomb. It's pretty friendly of her, don't you think? Uh, Claire Walsh is not our friend. Uh, yeah, well, I know you, th you think she's playing me, and I know she is, so, but the thing is, I'm playing her. I kind of like her, aside from the fact that, you know, she wants to send me to prison for the rest of my life. You know the best way to prevent that from happening? Not saying anything to Claire unless Diane's around. <laughs> no. Right, that's the way. No, 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 that's your style. See, my style is this way. Well, I sleep with her. Oh. No, no, wait, 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 wait. She's compromised. All right? And I know you want me to be careful and all that, but I'm yeah. telling you I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, you, I just came by to check on you, and no, this okay. is the time for me probably to go. <laughs> well, I uh, appreciate you coming by and uh, believing in me. I respect you more than anyone I've ever known. And that's not going to change. Jason, do me a favor. Get rid of Franco, because it, it's a distraction nobody needs. I'm working on that. <laughs>